Hello, uh, today I uh, would like to start a new series on data analysis. This can be used by uh, journalists or doctors or whoever wants to get into uh, data analysis from a different career. Uh, so basically I'm going to assume that people who are watching this have not uh, learned programming. So this is mostly going to be about programming, very little about data science, but mostly about programming. Okay. So I am gonna talk about everything that we need to know to be able to do this. The first thing is you need a computer, you need a computer and you need a computer preferably with Linux GNU Linux operating systems installed could be Ubuntu could be Debian I have a computer with Arch Linux installed uh, with an automatic wallpaper changer and quote changer um, now I'm also using um, uh, KD Plasma as my desktop environment so if you can get Linux installed then that actually solves half of your problems uh, getting your whole system set up now that itself is a hard problem uh, for a lot of people getting linux installed would be a problem and if you do not have linux then you would need to install things like python uh, on your windows system or your mac system uh, and i am not able to help you with that at least in this video so for now let's assume that you have uh, a linux computer and you have Python and all of that installed. So I'm just going to show you how that look like. So this is my terminal now. Um, and if I check for Python version, um, I'm not sure what did I do. <laughs> okay, if I check for Python version, I get a Python version, which means uh, Python is installed and it's Python 3.12.7. Um, now I'm just going to create a directory for this um, YouTube video so I'm gonna make it for YouTube so so now I have an empty directory for uh, this particular project um, so what do we need now let's uh, first create some data that we can analyze uh, we'll do that very quickly uh, in let's say two three minutes and then once we have the data we will probably be thinking about how to find the mean of some value in that data because uh, it's after all about statistical analysis and uh, average is probably one of the simplest statistical analysis that we can do and uh, we will try to find the mean using python uh, we can also do use R, you can, we can use any programming language for that, but we probably will use Python. And uh, while doing so, I will try to explain some of the basics of Python so that uh, things don't seem like it's magic. Okay, so first let's create data, right? Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create, now you have data, data can come in any form uh, what I am going to do is I am going to create a CSV file, a comma separated value file which will have uh, the data. So let's say I am going to call it uh, data.csv. <laughs> now I am going to open that with uh, a spreadsheet software. Uh, of course it is now empty. So uh, that is how it looks like. Uh, I'm not sure if you can increase the zoom. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, it's 150 percent. So uh, let's have a serial number um, column. Let's have a column for. So what should be this data of? Uh, let this be data of um, height of children uh, in some school, and let's uh, probably segregated by gender and uh, uh, 
religion no let's not do religion okay let's uh, just keep it this simple for now let's just say serial number gender and height we so height is in centimeters let's assume um, gender is going to be let's say m or f or uh, o others uh, and serial number will be one two three uh, like that should we do missing values let's think about that later uh, let's say for now we have m m f f these are all random numbers right so i can enter whatever uh, now we don't have age we are just going to do height uh, let's say 100 uh, 90 80 90 no, 86 uh, 85 97 102 84 96 so we've got I'm going to save that so we got our data set this is a synthetic data set where uh, i have entered some random values now if we want to do mean uh, within excel within spreadsheet we can do that uh, how do we do that uh, so i selected all those cells and the average is right there at the bottom it's 91 sum is 9 10 count is 10 let's try to replicate these values first using python okay so i've just saved it uh, and now i'm gonna have to use a, a python script to read this so this is where the programming starts so the first thing we need is we need to have a file to write our code in so let's call this uh, analyze.py uh, so i just created that file uh, I'm going to open that in uh, Visual Studio Code. Uh, any text editor should do. Uh, these days, a lot of people use Visual Studio Code. Uh, now, Visual Studio Code is uh, uh, is a proprietary. Uh, it's, a, it's an open source with some proprietary blobs from Microsoft and many people don't like it. But uh, what can I say? So it's already there. Uh, Data.csv is there. Uh, you can see serial number gender height in a comma separated value file and you also have analyze.py which is an empty file that I just created. Um, now here is where we can write our python code. Uh, I'm going to try and make it larger so that it's visible on the computer. So uh, let this go away. So this uh, is now a place for us to write some python right. So if you have never seen or heard or used Python, Python is a programming language. Um, it allows us to do programming. Um, and how does that look like? Uh, let's do a trial. So on line one, now I am just going to write print hi. I'm going to save the file. Control S, save. Um, and now I'm going to run the file. Now this is something that uh, uh, you might not be used to. So I ran python command with the file name within that directory. So now I have python analyze.py and it executed this line which said print hi. So it printed hi. So that's a, that's a <laughs> hello world application for you uh, in programming world they usually start with this line um, so any guesses uh, what will happen if i type uh, python analyze.py and hit enter now yeah uh, it should print hello comma world with an exclamation mark and there you can see hello comma world with an exclamation mark so that's how Py, uh, how to save a Python script and to run it. Now, uh, you you would want to read this uh, CSV file, the data file, into your Python script for for you to be able to do any kinds of analysis, right? Um, now in Python. To do that, you would need to use a certain kind of um, um, 
libraries or tools that come automatically so that uh, you don't have to worry too much about how to do that. So first I'm going to open my browser and show you how to get some help and find uh, some place where we can find the code that we need. Huh? Uh, I'm going to say uh, how to read a CSV file in Python and uh, 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 the official Python documentation has come. So I am just going to open that uh, and you can see some code here. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste that there and I'm going to execute that. Now, of course, we need to understand what this code does for it to be able to run properly. Uh, but I'm just going to copy paste and run it just to show what happens. So it said no such file or directory x.csv. So that was an error. Uh, what it did is first we told Python to import uh, a library, uh, a group of code called CSV so that we can then do things like call functions within that. So we are calling a function called csv.reader here. Uh, this wouldn't have happened unless we imported that CSV into our file here. So we imported all functionalities related to CSV here. And then uh, we said with open x.csv as CSV file. So we want to open a file as a CSV file. So we are using this name for CSV file. Uh, now here is where our error was because we don't have x.csv, we have data.csv. So we're going to change that and say data.csv. Now with open data.csv, uh, let's ignore this for now. We are telling uh, the, this, this is an open function. We are telling it this is the file name we want and uh, you can treat new lines, uh, new line is equal to what is that supposed to mean uh, yeah I actually don't know what uh, this is supposed to mean so let's just leave it aside yeah so as CSV file we are gonna read the file now we now we are gonna create a reader CSV dot reader with the CSV file as the input the delimiter being space actually our delimiter is going to be comma uh, and our code char is going to be inverted comma. So uh, what is a C, uh, delimiter? So in uh, uh, let's open data now. In a CSV file, the word, the thing that separates a cell is the delimiter. So it is a comma separated values file. So we have comma, but it could it could also be tab, it could be space, it could be anything. Uh, so for now we can use delimiter as comma and code char is something like if you have data which itself has comma, uh, let's say you are gonna ask for favorite subjects, uh, subjects and then people will have two favorite subjects, English and Max. So now you have a comma in the data itself, right? So you would want to quote it. Uh, that's what quote char is. So that uh, CSV knows that it is not a next line, uh, next column. Yeah. So yeah. For now, let's ignore that complication. Uh, this is going to be our data and uh, delimiter and quote char. And let's call this data reader instead of spam reader. I don't know why they're calling it spam reader. Um, for row and data reader for each row let's just say print row let's ignore this now okay now let's do a python analyze and see what happens see what happened so you ran it and it's it's gone through each row in the data each line in the data and then printed them one by one serial gender height 
1 m 100 2 m 93 f 80 so we we've, we've got it inside python in some ways right and we are reading it from so we didn't say data.csv we said analyze.py and analyze.py has said open data.csv and print it so it's now printed it so if i wanted to show data.csv it would be like that and it would print like that now this is python printing data.csv yeah now here is what fun things we can do with this so this is now a list okay so for each row in the data reader you are just printing it now now i'm gonna say instead of just printing it i'm gonna say uh, print uh, this row contains and then row so now what's gonna happen is if you guessed it right uh, for each of these rows it's gonna first say this row contains and then it will show this row okay uh, python analyze.py see so this row contains serial gender height this row contains 1m 100 so it's going row by row and executing this state that's what's happening um, so another thing we can do is let's say we only want the second column to be let's say we only want the first column to be printed yeah so i'm gonna say row zero the zeroth value so uh, in programming languages in many programming languages um, counting starts from zero so you you don't count one two three you count zero one two <laughs> yeah so uh, you would if you type say for example the first value in row and run this analyze you would get gender column which is not the first column it's actually the second column uh, that's because in python you want zero if you want the first so uh, print row zero and now if you run python analyze.py you will see serial number one two three four five six nine nine ten printed yeah now <clears throat> here is another thing that's happened uh, our first uh, line is also getting printed serial actually our first line is not uh, data it's just the heading so if you want to ignore uh, the first line um, there are many ways to do it uh, one way to do is we can tell the library itself uh, to read header Mm. Uh, how, how do we do that first line so csv dot reader this is the function we are using to read csv right uh, there there are a few options uh, which includes format params uh, if dialects and formatting parameters here read yeah we would have to do something called dictionary reader uh, yeah so this is how programming is like okay we have to read a lot of documentation to be able to do it the way we want so now the thing is we we just used a plain reader now a plain reader will directly read uh, the csv file and give it to us row by row now we want a slightly different kind of reader called dict reader which is short for dictionary reader so that we can get things with the column headings so i'm just going to change this particular reader to dict reader and now 
uh, instead of zero, I'm going to say print serial. Okay, and let's see how that works. Look at that. So what it has done now is it skipped the first row because now it knows the first row is actually the column headings. And then it will now allow us to read for each row, read by the column heading. Instead of saying 0 and 2, we can say serial, uh, what else is column? You can say gender height. So we can now directly say print row serial and it will start from the actual data. It will ignore the first header line. Uh, it will ignore this header line and it will read from the data and print it. That's what it did here. So that's what we need. Uh, we need dict reader and uh, we need to do this. Now let's do one actual data analysis now. We need to do the sum of all the heights. Yeah. So how do we do sum? This is where we need to do a bit of a programming thing. Say, let's say start with the sum called zero. Yeah. And then for each row, okay, let's, uh, let's first print all the heights, print row height. How do we print height? Uh, we would have to change this to height. So Python analyze, so it's printing all the heights. Uh, and now I'm gonna do some, start with the sum of zero. And for each row, sum is equal to sum plus row height. Now this is actually will throw an error. I'll tell you why after it throws the error. So what this should do is for each row sum should be changed to sum plus. So whatever sum is now, sum is zero now. So zero plus row height. So the first height is 100. So it should become zero plus 100 is equal to 100. So sum will become 100. And then the next row, it will say 100 plus 90. So sum will become 190. Uh, and then the next row it will say 80, so 190 plus 80, 270 like that till the end of the row. And I want at the end print the sum. So now if I do Python analyze, what should it do? It should print. Uh, sum is 910. Would it print that? Actually, it will print an error. I'll show you. <laughs> it said. Um, sum is equal to sum plus row height unsupported operand types for plus int and str str is string so what happened here is this is where in python you have a concept called data types so i'm just gonna run python and show you um, so this is called the interactive um, terminal interactive command line um, interactive shell of Python. Um, here you can do things like this. One plus one is two. Hi plus uh, space plus there would be hi there. Uh, you can do things like that. Now, uh, the problem is one plus one was not 11, right? One plus one is two. So it knows max here. Uh, but hi plus there is not, uh, I don't know, greeting. Hi plus there is hi and there. So how did it know that this is text and this is numbers? That is where these quotes come into picture. Yeah, so if something is put inside a quote, it knows it's text. And if it's not put with quotes, it knows it's not text, it's something else. And in case of numbers, it will think of it as integers or numbers. Uh, in the case of uh, string, uh, in the case of text, it is called string. So, um, for example, mm, I don't know if uh, this works. I'm gonna say, yeah. So, if you check for the type of something, it will tell you what class it is. It is now saying str, which is string class. Type of one is int class, type of integer right 
Now, if I put 1.0, will it say integer? It shouldn't say integer because in integers you don't have a point, right? So it should say float. Let's see if it says that. Yes. So 1.0 is a float. It's a floating point number. It's like a fraction. It's a decimal, uh, but uh, Python calls it float. One is an integer. High with the um, quotes is a string. Now here's a question for you. What is this uh, type of one with a quote? Yeah, if you guessed it is string, you're right. It's string because now you put quotes around it. So if you wanted to get one plus one is equal to 11, what would you do? You would type them in quotes. So one plus one is now 11. And see what it returned. It also returned a string. So this is also in quotes, which means that's also in a string. Um, and it's not a integer. So if you do type of one, plus one, you would again get string. Now this is what is happening here. Here your sum is a zero is a integer number. But in your row height, um, see, uh, yeah, for human beings, this is a number. Uh, but for Python, uh, by default, it is taken in as a string uh, because it's reading from a file it's taken as a string uh, it's a bit complicated why uh, it is doing that but just assume everything that uh, uh, python reads in is treated as string now we need to convert this string into an integer before we add it so all we need to do is we convert it by int using the int function so now uh, for every row, we say sum is equal to previous sum plus integer value of the row height string value there. So now if I run uh, analyze, uh, it's saying 910 because it's added all of those uh, and your sum is now there. Yeah. Now, what's the other thing I need to do? Uh, I can also do count, right? Before we reach average, we need to do count. Only if we have count, we can have average. So for count, we can have count is equal to zero. We could do this for each line. We can say count is equal to count plus one. Yeah, let's try that. Print count uh, Python analyze. So you have nine, ten as a sum, ten as the count. And now average would be as simple as print sum divided by count. So that is our average. So is that correct? Average is ninety one. Average is ninety one. So we found uh, mean. Uh, total sum and even count. Now let's do something slightly more complicated. Okay, let's say we need um, average segregated by gender. Uh, it's not one average now; it's two averages. Uh, so we know gender in this data set only has two values, so we can kind of uh, Think about it like this, we can say sum uh, of M, sum of F, uh, this is not good, sum of M, sum of F, count of M, count of F. See, what I'm trying to do is if we wanted to do this manually, what would we do? We will be like, okay, let's take all the M values, M, 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 M. So 100 plus 90 plus 86 plus 102 plus 84 plus 96 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. Uh, and then we would do all the F values and then divide by 4, right? So like that, we need to do that with the computer. So 
that's what I'm trying to approximate here. So we need one variable to keep track of the sum of m, one variable to keep track of count of m, one variable to keep sum of f, count of f, and eventually we'll do print, um, uh, uh, let's say print average of m heights is, and then we would say, sum of m divided by count of m and uh, similarly we will also do uh, average of f height is sum of uh, f divided by count of f yeah now the only thing is we need to now make this work we need to have sum of m uh, so here we are going to make a slight change so we've got if row gender is equal to m, then we'll add count of m is equal to count of m plus one. Uh, this is a shortcut for that. Plus equal to means uh, this is equivalent to count of m is equal to count of m plus one. So instead of writing like this, we can write like this, yeah. Uh, and then sum of m plus is equal to int of row height and then else let's assume it's uh, f uh, else then count of f plus equal to 1 and sum of f plus equal to int of row of Height. I'm going to delete those two lines and now if I run this analyze you can see average of m heights is 93 average of f heights is 88 uh, if you really want to verify this I can verify this how do we verify that uh, I'm gonna copy this here and I'm gonna delete all the f values let's see what happens uh, and then we can do this see average is 93 uh, that's what we got and uh, if you want to also do females yeah I'm not gonna verify all that I know this is correct uh, okay so yeah so uh, that's one way to do it now this is a trivial way of doing it now the problem with this is this works because we know that exactly this gender column in our data set there's only two values now if uh, let's say if I add uh, 11 other uh, and then uh, 88 yeah and then I run this uh, <laughs> because it's 88 it didn't change because that was the previous average let's say this is 98 huh? uh, see this Our average of f heights has now increased uh, that is wrong uh, why did this happen because we checked if rho gender is m then add add it to m sum if it's not m whatever be it add it to f height that's what we said and that's why this happened uh, now um, we ha we could if you if we knew that okay now the third kind of variable is there uh, we could now add sum of o is equal to zero and count of o is equal to zero uh, and then uh, and then here we can say else if row gender equal to f uh, then that and then else count of o plus equal to 1 sum of o plus equal to int row height and then finally you can come here and say average of o heights is sum of o divided by count of o like that and that would also give us 
result. So now we have 93, 88, 98, which is all correct. Now this is not scalable. We can't keep on adding a new variable to store new this new results. This is not how we do it in programming. What we would do is we totally get rid of this approach. We can have, let's say, we can have a dictionary called sums um, and uh, uh, we can have a dictionary called counts. Yeah. Uh, now, of course, uh, this is also not how we would do it in real data analysis. I'll show you that also later, but for now. Uh, now, for the, now, this is a dictionary. What a dictionary does is, I'll show you a how a dictionary works first, okay? Now, let's say sums is equal to a dictionary. Now, I'm going to print sums. It's empty. There's nothing in it. Now, I'm going to say sums of um, m equal to 0. Now let's print sums, huh? see how it changes now. Print sums, see m is zero. Uh, now I'm gonna say sums of m equal to sums of m plus 100. And now if you print sums, you'll see m is now 100. Uh, I'm gonna repeat that. m has now become 200. Now I can also say sums of f equal to 20. Now if I do print sums, it has a value for m, it has a value for f. So it's like a bucket, a dictionary is like a bucket. For each uh, key, you can have a value. A key m has a value 200, key f has a value 20. Uh, so if you do sums of m, it will show you sums of m is 200, like that, yeah. Uh, so I created two buckets, one for sums, one for counts. Uh, now what I'm going to do is, uh, so I'll show you one more thing. You can also do sums to get m like that. And uh, if I do sums dot get o now, any guess what will happen? Yeah, it should, there's no value for O in this sums now, right? Sums is now only this much, which means it should give us nothing. Yeah, nothing came back. So if we want it to get us a default value, if nothing is there, we can pass a default value. Uh, so for example, see, now it's by default, it returned 10 if nothing was there. So I'm going to say if nothing is there, let's return zero. So that will return zero. Uh, now I'm going to use that also. Uh, so what we're going to do here is gender is row gender huh? and height is row int of row height. Now we need to add it to sums and counts, right? Sums of gender is equal to sums dot get gender and if nothing is there make it zero counts of gender is equal to counts dot get gender and if nothing is there start from zero and uh, this is all we can remove ah no sorry we have to add plus uh, height and here plus one so each count we are adding and then now this will not take care of for each line it will get the gender and then in the sums bucket for that particular gender it will take the current gender and add height current gender value and add height so if nothing is there in the beginning there will be nothing right so it will start with zero and add height. Similarly for counts, it will get the current gender and add one. So now let's do just uh, simply, let's just print sums and print counts and let's see how it looks like. Okay, Python analyze, look at that. 
So it sums is M96, F97, O98 and uh, mm, what's happened? Something is wrong. Did you notice? It's saying M1, F1, O1. Uh, it didn't do a I didn't set it to ah sorry we shouldn't have said uh, now what I did is I did sums dot get gender in string so what it looked for is it was looking for a value called gender in the thing but what we actually wanted was a value called m right m0 or f0 and so this had to be without quotes now yeah let's look at that now just like this this also had to be without quotes now i'll just show you what that is first uh, before I show you sorry I made it open telegram yeah see for example <coughs> let's say we have a dictionary called sums sums is a dictionary now sums I'm gonna set m is equal to 100 okay so sums looks like that uh, sums looks like that and uh, if I do sums of m, I'll get 100. Now, another way to do it is m is now a string, right? I can set gender is equal to m, and then I can do sums gender, where this is the value of gender, which is m, and it will give me 100. Sums gender will give me nothing because there's nothing called gender in sums but sums gender will give me what is gender gender is m so sums gender will give me sums of m which is 100 yeah so this is what uh, it was happening here sums gender is equal to sums dot get same thing here sums dot get gender will give me that sums dot get gender will give me uh, nothing and if I pass a default value it will give me zero. That's what was happening here. So I got it correct now Now so if I run Python analyze look at that total 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 count total control Yeah So let's say now we need to show the averages. Yeah uh, What we could do is um, We need a way to go through each of the entries uh, for gender in sums print gender let's do this first and I'll show you how that works so for each gender in sums sums has three genders now M F and O print the gender is what I wrote here which means I can also say print sums gender and now it will run the value of that yeah 352 so now I can do a lot more I can say print gender and uh, gender and um, sum and uh, sums gender let's run that now that's it by gender m sum this much in that um i think we don't need this space here don't need really answer space and now average count would be count uh counts gender let's try that yeah count is also there and now mean 
would be sums gender divided by counts gender yeah there we go gender m sum is 558 count is 6 mean is 93 gender f sum 352 count 4 mean 88 uh, and like that so we got all of them segregated by uh, the gender yeah now of course this is one way to do it this is just uh, explaining how data analysis works or how python works more more of, more of that um, if you want to really do this kind of analysis you would use uh, a library in python called pandas um, i mean of course this is not the only library uh, one of the libraries so with pandas it will be easier to do different kinds of analysis so for example uh, uh, tutorials yeah first we would have to install pandas let me check if i have pandas yes i do have pandas in my computer which is why that import worked so i can do import pandas um uh, what kind of how do i read and write tabular data uh, so usually people import it as pd so as you see it's here to write import pandas as pd um now i want to read a csv so i'm going to just do pd dot read underscore csv so let's do one thing let's uh, not change this script let's keep it uh, there and let's create a new script called pandas uh, pandas analysis uh, no uh, advanced analysis dot by uh, and I'm going to open that so here I'm going to import pandas as pd and what else do I need? I need to uh, read analysis. So I'm gonna say uh, data is equal to pd dot read underscore csv data dot csv. See how easier it is to read csv with the pandas. And now let's just print data and let's see how it did that. Huh? Uh, yo, why do I keep opening Telegram? To quit that. Yeah, Python advanced analysis. Look at that. So with just three lines, Pandas loaded the whole thing and printed the whole thing and it even added a, another column for the index. Mm. Uh, now, um, read CSV does that. Pandas has its own uh, conventions so if you want only the first line for example data dot head one we can do let's try that Python. Uh, there it is the first line came like that there are certain things you can do uh, pandas has its own types so now it has int 64 object float and all of that uh, pandas can read excel directly can select a subset of data frame can do a lot of things huh? uh, in the age of titanic passengers so it did titanic age so like we did earlier if we wanted to only print um, gender we can do that uh, and that should uh, print only gender see that only gender yeah uh, and then mm, yeah I can print two columns we can get uh, we can get see if you want only gender is equal to M 
we can do that is it uh, no 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 we have to do it like this uh, m is equal to data data gender equal to m let's now print ms uh, look at that we get all the m's yeah things like that now this is what uh, pandas allows it it allows us to do a lot of more complicated analysis um, now I'm gonna try and do the same um, mean calculation uh, so summary statistics we need to do so <laughs> look at how easy it is to do total mean okay so we're gonna do uh, print uh, uh, mean is equal to data uh, height dot mean let's try that uh, and then let's say print mean uh, look at that we got a mean of 91.63636 yeah we got this now because we added one line you remember uh, this 98 so let's remove it for now and see our original 91 yeah we got the original 91 I'm gonna add that back now yeah now what else can we do we need by category right so uh, look at that aggregating statistics grouped by category so all we need to do now is uh, dot group by uh, print what what do we want printed we want um, we want two things okay let's see. list uh, we want gender and we want height uh, and we want to group this by gender and we want mean uh, group by gender mean that's what they say let's see what it brings out of huh? advanced look at that so gender f 88 m 93 o 98 so that's it that's how simple it is if we use pandas we can do a lot of uh, analysis much faster without doing all of those manually adding the sums and adding the counts and dividing and all of that uh, if you just want counts, uh, I think it should uh, give us counts also. Uh, yeah, there are ways to get counts by category, all of that.